so I am continuing um, the daily guidance video for Friday. I accidentally pressed the stop button. I got all excited and was trying to tell you guys, see, told you so. But then I got too excited and I shut off, so. Whoops. Sorry, guys. So hopefully you're back and checking out the pile number three. Because now I'm just, you know, I'm just having too much fun with this. Ooh, that's not your card. All right. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Pick the better side. You guys are better than that. Don't stay in that God also sake scenario. This is the other one, right? Yes. All right, guys. So last but not least, we got pile number three. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Woo! We got indecision, guys. It says, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Do you? I'm curious to see what's going on. Oh, you guys got two. I didn't even realize that. Uh-oh. Something's happening with you guys. Ooh, it's, it calls upon you to have imagination, too. So it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So... Today calls upon you to have, or no, sorry. Today calls upon you to use your intuition. Stop being indecisive or indecision. Use your imagination. We all got a mind for a reason, right? So let's see what's happening. What's causing this? Oh man, we got the death card. New beginnings, new completion. Something new is coming through. Everyone's always afraid of that card, and I'm like, why be afraid of it? It's something new's coming, right? Maybe that's why this indecision's here. Maybe you guys feel like <clears throat> you have no idea where to go. Well, you know what? This new beginning is where you need to go. We got six of wands. We've got king of swords. Air signs, fire signs, and cups. Yeah, fire, water, and air. So, for those that picked card number three, it's either your energy coming through or the people that you're involved with. So, that's fire. What did I say? Fire, water, and air. So, I'm just going to take a second, get a feel for what's going on, and then I will be back. <clears throat> okay, so right off the hop, I have to say that the Death card and the Two of Cup card this is definitely a love situation, a new love situation. That's why the Two of Cups is here. This is about balance, harmony. It's a male and female coming together. Maybe that's where the indeci in indecision comes through. Maybe you're, I don't know, fighting within yourself. You know, this, what is this, you know? Maybe you're just unsure. You know, you got to get outside that bubble. You got to realize that this is happening for a reason. This is meant to happen. This new love. This this is for you. You know, the universe, divine timing. Divine timing just clicked in my head like that. This is your divine timing. This is it. This could also be I, I don't get that I don't get wait, I don't get that it's fear based, but I do get that someone around you has put you in a position to be switched off. And I think that's why the Knight of or the King of Swords is here. This talks about someone around you that's really cold. You know, maybe they know about this new love come like 
maybe they know that you're involved with someone and they don't like that person so they think their opinion is all that matters and you don't have um, the chance to feel you don't have the right to feel but that's you can tell them where to go because they're in charge of their own life and you're in charge of yours that's what I feel like I feel like there's something beautiful coming in for you but it's gonna come in at a price someone's gonna have something to say about it and you're gonna have to put your foot down and say you know you don't have a right to say that you don't have a right to have an opinion about how I should feel or how I should approach this or how I should come about this right don't let this cold-hearted person who thinks that they know the best for you keep you from divine timing Because we have balance here. We have more things wanting to come in for you. More. It's like. It's definitely divine timing. But it, it's something. Something wants to come through. But you've got this person in your ear. And you're listening to them. And it's. It's taking your train of thought away. That's what I feel like. I feel like. This is what's making that indecision coming up. Because you're not using your own mind and your own thoughts you're using the thoughts of other people and maybe that's and that like Death is fear, right? Death is also, it is a new beginning, but it's also fear. You're fearing the unknown. You're fearing of, you know, could this possibly be something? And you're, you're staying in that mindset. But there's a major change coming. It's time to release, right? Don't stay stuck in this. And don't listen to people. They keep telling me to tell you to stop listening to people and stop. Listen to yourself. What is it that you want? Like, go after what you want. Use your minds. That's why God gave you one. All right, guys. So your Oracle Energy card says Six Chakra, Arch Angle Metatron. So let's see what he has to say. And then we will wrap this up for Friday because I know you probably all want to get your drink on. Well, if that's your sort of thing. All right. So it says, this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings br brilliant indigo vibrations to your bro chakra or third eye, which is the... Okay. Did they make these books so small? Okay, anyways. Center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective towards brighter horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning. For you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create, wait, the insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. See, use your own damn head. Don't be up over here listening to these people. They're stupid. They just, they want what you have, so they're jealous, right? Anyways, guys, I really hope, you know, you liked my pick a three or pick a three, I can't even speak I'm so tired tonight pick a three cards thing majiggy whatever you want to call it um hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys think um subscribe if you haven't and I'm sending you guys lots of love and light yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow for your Saturday reading take care guys